My medicine was in at the pharmacy, so I went to pick it up. Trying to look at the pretty colors of trees. I figured if I didn't try to film it now, it'll be too late in a few days. Hello, everybody. We're so glad to see you. Trying to take care of stuff around here. Um, I put the bicycle back together out on the patio and it's upright. One wheel seems to hold air, the other one does not. It's not a big concern right now, but I'm glad it's kind of done. I put the wheels on. I spray painted some handles on my dresser drawers and put them back on. <sighs> Will I be taking the dresser drawers? I don't know. Brian talked to me and said, I want to know as soon as possible, are you going to need a pod? It's like a little storage thing. You fill it, they bring, take it to where you want it taken. They deliver it to the house, or our storage unit, or whatever. That's expensive. It's like a seven foot one, seven foot wide, seven foot long, and eight foot tall. Costs all together with taking it from middle of the country all the way out to California is like three thousand dollars that's an awful lot of money then I thought well how about a little trailer a U-Haul trailer they have a seven foot U-Haul trailer to rent it is a hundred fifty dollars that's a lot cheaper but I'd have to put a trailer hitch on my car now if I still had the Ford Explorer it had a trailer hitch My car doesn't get very good mileage. I wish I had a different car. Because if I put a trailer on this one, it's really going to suck the miles out of it. I cannot fit everything that, even like the Rubbermaid containers, like this one, 18 gallon tote that I have tools in, and my big TV. Brian said, oh, you can always get another TV. It's like, 
but why spend money if you don't have to? It's all weights and balances, you know. Is it cheaper just to buy it here? Do I cart my recliner chair? Or do I just find something there? I don't know. I can just pack up clothes and my cooking supplies and stuff like that, my tools, and head on out there. But I really have to figure out exactly what I want. I know my I know what the kind size of box all my DVDs and stuff will fit in. I know the size of box all the books that I'm going to collect and keep will be in. That would fill up the back seat of the car and TV. That would and but I don't know because I have not even taken Thrall for a ride around the block how that's gonna go. He'll have passenger front seat, I guess. And I really don't know how that's gonna go. Pod? U Haul? Magic wand. Hmm. <laughs> so much to do. Brian gave me the weekend. Well, he said uh, 24 hours, but I'm stretching it till tomorrow night so that I know exactly what I'll have and what I don't have. Somewhere on Facebook, they've been playing this game where you, they give each other a challenge, they give each other a character to be, and they dress up and imitate the poses that character has online. Um, my friend Danny, he is Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. And his wife, Anne, uh, was given Carmen Sandiego. Like, where in the world is Carmen Sandiego? Someone else, what did they have? I don't remember. And I said, oh, please, please, I want to play. So they gave me Brienne of Tarth. It's a, from uh, Game of Thrones, and I've never seen it. And I'm, she's a tall actress, six foot three. And she's very androgynous looking in the show, but she's a female knight. And I still have some old costumes I'm bastardizing. I'm making Dr. Frankensteining them. Then I'll take my pictures and I'll show you tomorrow. But I have other things that are important that I'll be doing. It's like... When you get tired of one thing, you go to another, and then you go back, and then you go to a different thing, and then you go back. That's kind of how my brain works, so I guess we'll see. I still want to make the eclairs. And then next Wednesday is Whoop Whoop Wednesday, where I have a joke. Next, this coming Tuesday is Election Day. I am just going to do what I have to do, and no TV, no nothing. I'm not going anywhere. I don't even want to hear the TV that day. <sighs> I have to brace myself. <laughs> Fortify myself at the end of the evening. I don't know. Sometimes you gotta fortify yourself to go upwards and onwards. <laughs>